Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'll be showing you my technique for generating automatic UV map um, UV layout after you've applied your solidify modifier. When working with certain assets um, like clots or any asset, you might want to apply the solidify modifier to give it some free thickness. The issue most times is if you already have a your UV map laid out and once you up, uh, have your solidify modifier and you go ahead and apply this we can see that it's um, it still looks normal but if we select this edge loop uh, we can see it's just an edge it has not really unwrapped that and this is practically I mean it's usable but you're going to get a lot of artifacts around these areas so we want to be able to unwrap this automatically or at least be able to kind of generate it without messing up what we already have so I'm going to be showing you my technique for that so um, I already have this nice tool um, which I created that would allow you do that allows me to do it automatically so if we select this edge loop we can see it's already unwrapped nicely and we have the UV layout um, remaining the same so we can clean up or move things around to have it um, kind of arranged um, we have it packed uh, appropriately okay so to do that um, let's go ahead and add our solidify modifier so we already have our UV map just extend this a bit I'm going to use um, only rim and I will go ahead and apply this okay so I also want the I want to also extrude this inwards so that we st we kind of get that uh, extra depth so for that we'll add another solidify modifier set it to only, only rim and if we extend this we can see it's um, extending it inwards why we uh, and it's going to allow us not have internal faces so this is what we want so before we apply this we want to use this feature which you might have not used uh, very well in the solidify modifier called the output vertex script so it uh, allows you to store certain selection data for the shell and the rim um, faces so to do that we'll just create two vertex groups so we can call this rim realm and then we can um, call this shell So we just need to select the shell and rim. The name doesn't um, particularly matter, so you could even call it one or two, as you see here, or just any random name. As long as you select any vertex group here, you would be fine. So importantly, these vertex groups are going to stay empty so that it's just a kind of blank slate that we can write information onto. So once we have this, we can go ahead and apply this. So we have this applied and if we come to the edit mode we can select um, shell, uh, we can select like the shell or we can also select the ring. So it allows us to be able to select the data from the second solidify modifier. So once we have this we want to um, grow the selection so you can press Ctrl plus. So once you press the control plus it's going to basically allow you select um, the edges we extruded now we invert the selection and in your UV layout you want to um, select everything so basic this selection you want to select it and press P so we're going to pin the UV islands here and then we'll select everything and then we'll do UV seam from island so it's going to apply a uv seam from the island okay and once we have this then we can go ahead and unwrap that's it so it it keeps your existing stuff and just unwraps the edges so i uh, if you miss the step um so you select you grow your selection in the existing UV and then in, um, create sim from island which you can access here 
and then you unwrap so that's it 